welcome to a vanguard news video without the bullshit. Let's get started. Those that still haven't gotten standard format effect triggers due to the absurd prices in the secondary market, I have good and bad news for you. The good news is that Bush Road will be releasing frame rare promo card versions of the cast of the anime as their respective nation's trigger units. Take note that these cards will still be regarded as the same name as their corresponding effect trigger counterpart. Which means that the original version of these effect triggers will probably go down in price. The bad news however is that these will obviously be sold at a higher price meaning that you're still screwed if this is the only way you can get your hands on effect triggers. Those who have a hard on for church architecture may be interested in picking up these sleeves and deck barks for their respective nation deck. If that feels too religious for you, how about these Aichi Yu and Chrono in festival attire sleeves and deck box instead? Chrono actually looks the part whereas Aichi and Yu Yu look like they are a boy band doing a photo shoot. And if you like spending extra money on what seem to be a blank rubber mat with a logo, you can also try picking up this uniform as play mat. It's the trademark fine print that gives it 3000 yen price tag. Time to decide if you're going to cancel your DSS04 orders or upgrade to the premium edition after seeing their new cards. Astrolabe Dragon while on rear guard during your turn and during generation break 2 gets 10k power if any player has a locked card. And when it would be discarded for the cost of striding, you draw a card. It's funny how there doesn't seem to be more iconic grade 3 units in Messiah that could be brought back as an encounter card. Is that a good or bad thing? Her big claw. Yes I know how that sounds. While on the guardian circle gets 5k shields if you have a Messiah vanguard. And while on rear guard, you can put her big claw into your soul if your other units get unlocked. Yes, I too can't stop laughing. Kalos Klein while on rear guard during your turn gets 5k power if any player has a locked card. And while on rear guard, you can retire itself at the end of the battle it attacked while you have an alter ego messiah crest to put up to one card with grade equal or lower than your vanguard to an open rear guard as locked from the top three cards of your deck and the rest are put to the bottom of your deck in any order. This is just another gold paladin unit with extra steps that also prevents you from using any on place abilities. And if your luck is the same as mine, all three of those cards could be trigger units. Destiny dealer while in your hand can be regarded as a grade 3 card if used to pay for the cost of striding. And while in your hand, you can discard itself if you have an alter ego messiah crest to add up to one grade 3 messiah card from your deck. Nothing really to add about the deck's obligatory stride fodder other than the artwork is fire. Quite literally. Sacrifice Messiah while on rear guard and your generation break one lets you lock itself at the end of the battle it boosted while you have a Messiah vanguard to give your vanguard 5k power. You then counter charge one card if you have no face up cards in your damage zone. Sometimes I wonder if Bush Road's R&D are over nerfing a card. The original can potentially let you counter charge 2 to 3 times a turn, whereas this has so much restrictions that you can only do it once. Get ready to bang your dream once again as the collaboration cards of Bang Dream will just be triple rare vanilla critical triggers in DBT10. They don't seem to have any nation which I will assume can be used in any nation deck. I'll give Borsche Road credit where it's due. This is how you do a fucking collaboration in my opinion. Everyone can use them instead of forcing everyone to build a new deck around them, while also making sure they don't create a special mechanic that feels out of place like Monster Strike. It's so simple and clean that it makes Kingdom Hearts look like a mess. Oh wait. DPV01 confirms that it will also reprint Striders, G Guards, old promo cards, and V Series Grade 3 cards that weren't VR rarity. How else are they going to milk players into buying the set if they made it easy to obtain the VR reprint you wanted for years? As mentioned last week, G Series critical triggers will be updated to have shields and trigger power to match current triggers stats, while G units like Gablade have their abilities reworked. Shrouded Divine Knight Gablade, while in your G zone face down lets you pay the cost of striding, if you have a grade 3 blue sky knight or old mile vanguard and you did not get any force markers yet during the game, to stride this card then you can flip a card in your G zone with the same name as this card face up, to get 2 force markers. While on Vanguard, you can use this cards on hit ability, even if this cards attack did not hit. 
and while on vanguard, you can call up to one grade to a higher card from your deck when his attack hits a vanguard. This may look amazing at first, then you realize you're being forced to run outdated strider units which only has 11k base power and can only get 2 markers the entire game, unless you ride V-series grade 3 cards after this. Not to mention that this doesn't solve the write down problems in premium, in fact it makes it worse. You either die not being able to stride or use certain abilities, or live long enough to see yourself not having rode into grade 3 in that game. Finally, all of the first ever on hit G unit every clan got will receive this rework. I'm too lazy to write all their names down so here's a collage of all the cards on screen for your eyes to bleed. And that concludes this vanguard news video, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments how her big claw is actually small compared to yours.